friends, I'm Deborah Taylor, the hands behind Taylor's Yarn Creations. And so I thought I'd just hop on this week just to share with you a little bit about what I'm working on today. I have this pattern here that I'm going to be working on. And this pattern is like a graduation gnome. It's a graduation gnome. And I'm working on the ball part of it of it it's going to be like a round ball and then i have to do the graduation hat and of course it's going to have the gnome nose and everything and i'm working on just a bunch of these for my upcoming craft show that i'm going to be attending here in the memphis tennessee area so i thought i'd get on just to talk a little bit maybe do a round or two just talk crochet most of the time I don't get on and, and you just see my hands or whatever, maybe occasionally my face. But I thought I'd get on because I want to start doing more videos, more tutorials. That's my goal anyway. I do a lot of other things. And so sometimes this is just like my way of relaxing. I mean, I love, 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 love crochet. And I'm going to be working on some patterns and I'm going to be releasing in my Etsy shop as well. So I'm, right now I'm just doing the single crochet stitch around. This is not necessarily a tutorial. This is more or less where I am just chit-chatting with you guys. And so I'm using, um, let's see, a number two fine yarn. I think this is yarn art. And this hook size is 2.25 millimeters. So it's a really, really, really tiny hook, as you can see. I like, I like crocheting with the little hooks for whatever reason. So I have been just kind of thinking about where do I want to put my energy in regards to crochet? Because I love to crochet everything. I have so many patterns that I've purchased from other people and i've also created my own designs and so i think as i think about it some of my most well-liked videos seem to be especially on my instagram tend to be my hats and my gnomes and occasionally i'll do like um i had a pattern where i did like the the crochet shawl pocket shawl and that turned out really nice a lot of that i gave away to friends family and as gifts to others i had one on my etsy shop and then i took it down and gave it away can you believe that i gave it away because i had one of my office workers she was always cold an older lady and i thought i'd give it to her as a gift and she loved it absolutely loved it so I'm just going to do this round here. I'm just doing single stitches, nothing fancy, just round about. <laughs> and then I'll start decreasing the stitches to make um, the actual circle or the ball. The ball is attached to this hat here, which will eventually turn out into a graduation hat. And I will put the individual's pattern down below just to give them credit because this is not my pattern, but I loved it and I thought this would be nice keychains to to make and, and put inside this um, art and craft fair that I'm going to be doing in October, one at the end of this month. But I'm I'm concerned because I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, um, traveling, so I don't want to overwhelm myself. I have a, have a lot of things that I have from the last show that I did and I learned that what people like what they didn't like and so I'm going to be making some smaller items maybe a few medium-sized items and maybe a couple like larger price items like some of my purses I've made if you want to follow along with me in my adventures of going through what I'm doing to prepare for the craft show Make a comment below and let me know. In the meantime, be sure to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know the next time I go live. My goal is to upload more videos. I just wanted to show you until next time. Here's my little 
graduation gnome. I have to finish weaving in the ends. It's going to be so cute. I'll show you pictures as I finish after I finish.